I have faith in nature, a lot of faith in nature. You know, one of the things I love about covering salmon and that whole issue, you could count fish and they don't lie. <laughs> there are more of them or there aren't. They're here or they aren't. These aren't Idaho's fish. These are all of our fish. This is the region's fish. Our steelhead go all the way to Asia. They touch people's lives all over. And we need to have the ecosystems in which they depend, ecosystems that are linked all the way to Asia, protected, linked, and resilient, so that they can stand what's coming with climate change. Nature is speaking loud and clear, and what we need to do is listen. I don't worry about nature. Nature's going to talk. What I wonder is if we will hear her testimony.
I think part of our challenge in this region is I don't think we have trusted nature enough. We have felt like we always had to do something extra to help. We always were looking for a technological fix. And a lot of times it's not about a technological fix. These are incredible animals. They, you know, steelhead uh, spawn all the way south in San Clemente Creek in California. So yes, climate change is really bad. And it's gonna be, and all of this stuff is really bad, but these salmon, they are amazing if we give them the places and the ecosystems and the habitat to live and the way to get there. And that's possible for us over the next 50 years, uh, probably the conditions that they have in the Sacramento, we're gonna be facing here. And the problem with the Sacramento is there isn't any habitat left. There isn't any water left. Well, we still got water and we still got habitat. We got to make some hard decisions about what we're going to do with it. That's where we're at. You live in the backyard of the world's largest dam removal project and it is working. Has it been perfect? No. Have there been some, you know, bloopers? Sure but never lose sight of what has been accomplished and is being accomplished. This is gonna be an ongoing transformation. Uh, we in our lifetime will never see the full thing, of course, but the fish are coming back, the birds are booming, even the little mice are getting in on the act. They're starting to colonize those big fat stacks of wood that now get to migrate down the river and rebuild the channel like it was always supposed to. And all that sediment that was stuck behind the dams I invite you to Washington's newest beach. <laughs> it's at the mouth of the Elwha River. You also have to remember as we talk about, well, Congress is gonna make the decision. Actually, we still have three branches of government and this issue is squarely in the judiciary. For the fifth time, um, the biological opinion under which these rivers are run by the federal family has been drop kicked by a federal judge and they've been told to do it over. And so here we go again, but it's different this time and it's different for two reasons. The reason for that is they've been instructed at the agencies to re-rack a new EIS, new science, fresh look, everything on the table. That includes two things, dam removal and climate change. So um, we're in this process, it's gonna go on for several years and that's where you come in because um, it is a public process, and it's absolutely your job to know where this is in the courts and uh, to stay involved.